samurai. Anybody speak Japanese? I don't speak Japanese. Hey, what's up soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and welcome back to another video. So for the past year, over a year, like about a year and a few months, I've been doing a top 10 every single Saturday, and I enjoy this series so much. You guys really enjoy it as well. I always try to make a funny intro for every video, and you guys really seem to enjoy it, and I'm so thankful for the success of this series and all the support that you guys have given me every single saturday i wake up later than this video gets posted and i just look and read all the comments and it, it just fills me with so much joy so i want to say a huge thank you to you guys but today is actually going to be the last day for this series because i'm starting up a different one and this one is going to be the top five or top ten clips of the week and this is going to be solely zombie clips it can be funny moments it can be clutches it can be rage moments it can literally be fails anything that has to do with zombies and you guys record it you can submit for this series so at the top of the description there's going to be a, a google doc form basically all you have to do is link the clip and you can also explain what it is and all that stuff and then i'm going to start doing that next week this is going to lead into world war ii so if you get any crazy clips in world war ii you can submit those it can literally be any clip that you guys have i think this is a great way to kind of show off how good you guys are at zombies and i think it's just a great series where we can all come together and check out some really cool stuff that we did when playing zombies so that is how this is series is going to turn out now, last week, I asked you guys to comment the easiest Easter eggs in Call of Duty Zombies, and you guys pretty much consistently said the same exact ones. So today, we're going to be doing the top five easiest Easter eggs in Call of Duty Zombies. If you guys enjoy the video, please do me a favor and drop a like and subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to submit your clips. Once again, it's the top link in the description because next week, we're going to be starting it. I already got a bunch of clips. And if you guys don't feel like submitting it through the form, you can also tweet it at me and I will remember to use that as well. So without further ado, guys, let's get right into the top five. But before I do, I just want to say that I did not include any of the giant Easter egg because I don't consider the flytrap Easter egg an actual Easter egg that should be considered for this list. So just keep that in mind. And without further ado, I'm really sorry for the super long intro, but let's get right into it, guys. Coming in at the number five spot is going to be Derizon Drag. Now, the reason I think a lot of you guys voted for this one is because it's the second most played map in Black Ops 3, only behind the number one most played map, Shadows, because a lot of people didn't buy the DLC and only played Shadows, and some people just couldn't afford it. Now, the reason Derizon Drag comes on this list as being an easy Easter egg is because of how many times people have played it. This is definitely one of the most played, like I already mentioned, and the steps are actually really easy, not to mention it has the four elemental bows, which adds a whole new dynamic to the map. Having the four bows and going through the different steps, shooting the prongs on the teleporter, going back in time after shooting the wisps, getting the code, entering the code in the console that is right near the bell tower, unlocking the fuses from the safe, Putting the fuses in, doing Simon Says, going back in time again, getting the tablet, going around with the keeper, following the keeper, and then finally going into a beastly boss fight. It's so much fun, especially with the good bows, and it just makes for a great experience whenever you're doing this, whether it's solo, two player, three player, or four player. So that's why you guys decided it was going to be one of the easier Easter eggs, and you guys put it at the number five spot. Coming in at the number four spot is going to be Zetsubo no Shima. Now, the reason I think a lot of you guys ended up voting for this one was because Zetsubo was actually a very, very simple Easter egg when you think about it. Basically, all you needed to do was complete your challenges so that you could get the Masamune parts and also get the cog on the docks because you do need an electrified shield for that. And then also you just need anywhere by here to get the other cog. And then you need to shoot the KZ-4 and use blue water. 
to eventually get an AA bullet that you put in the AA turret to shoot down the plane, and that will drop the third and final cog. And once again, you have to upgrade the Masamune, or you have to upgrade the KT4 to the Masamune, and once you do that then you can go into the boss fight and it's really simple when you're using the masamune you kind of just shoot it on the floor you can run trains and it's going to kill all the thrashers which can be kind of a pain in the butt but it's still a very very easy easter egg and it was solved in 24 hours by a few of my friends so it was definitely one of the easiest easter eggs that we have seen because it got solved extremely quick and it was just kind of simple so you guys voted for it in the number four spot coming in at the number three spot is going to be mob of the dead i say it every week it's my favorite map and it's very very simple when it comes to the easter egg the reason i think that this map is so good though is because of how different it is from all the other maps basically all you have to do is build the plane fly across the plane you have to throw a tomahawk at the poster you need to get a free blunder gap from throwing it at all of the blue skulls you have to get that one and then you also need to throw the tomahawk at the spoon inside of the cafeteria like right outside the window and once you do that you enter the numbers 101 872 386 and 481 and those are the different cell numbers for each of the four main characters and then basically you go through and listen to the entire storyline in black and white and then you fly in afterlife mode all the way to the bridge and then whether or not you decide to continue the cycle or break the cycle you will either kill the weasel or kill the other characters and you can do this two three or four players and this easter egg is really simple if you know what you're doing and you know how to play the map well and you have decent guns it can be a great great experience and i really do love speed running it it just can get a little bit frustrating sometimes because you're trying to do everything way more amplified and you're trying to go as fast as humanly possible which can be a little bit stressful i'm not gonna lie but overall it's a great map to play and it's definitely a lot of fun coming in at the number two spot voted by you guys is going to be call of the dead now when you do this easter egg solo it can be one of the easiest things that you ever do when it comes to zombies for an achievement literally all you have to do when you play solo is you have to turn on the power get the fuse place it in and it's always on the top floor above that room where the characters are and then you have to blow up the four different generators or security systems with the red light and once you do that you literally just need to get the vr11 from the box and then you basically get the golden rod give it to richtofen knife the box again with the fuse because it like glitches out and then the tell the characters get teleported out and it's super easy and that's literally all you have to do solo now you add in more steps when you play co-op because you do have to do a lot more things you have to press the different fog horns you need to get the submarine to spawn you have to get the vodka you have to do the dials in the lighthouse there are a lot more things to it when you do it co-op which can make it a little bit more challenging but it's still one of the more simple easter eggs and it's kind of the first easter egg that actually had an achievement in zombies so it's going to be a lot more simple just that way so it definitely is a very very fun easter egg but it's also extremely easy and call of the dead is just a fun map to play every once in a while it's not something you would want to play every day but i've actually been going for the solo speedrun world record and it's a little bit challenging just because you have to get the box to spawn in a good spot right in front of the lighthouse and you also have to get the vr11 pretty quickly and you have to focus on getting those throws for the security system you know perfect every time so it's a lot of fun but it's still pretty challenging and you guys voted for it in the number two spot and coming in at the number one spot for the easiest easter egg in call of duty zombies is going to be ascension and this is 100 percent the easiest in my opinion as well now the reason ascension is so easy is because of the steps there was no achievement for this easter egg and it was the first time an easter egg like was brought into call of duty zombies that actually had some sort of quest and reward now all you have to do for this is you throw a gersh device you collect the transformer you go over to the computer near the second lunar lander location you press square on the computer and illuminati symbol shows up then you have to go all the way down 
to the rocket after pressing all the buttons on a monkey round you have to go down to the rocket for two minutes you sit on the pad and then you have to go in the correct order on the lunar landers to collect the words luna and once you do that then basically you have to have someone with a thunder gun a ray gun gersh devices matrishka dolls and then you throw a gersh device everyone shoots their weapons right at the gersh device collects the orb that's there and the orb goes up and gersh is released from the aether and that is the easter egg and then you get a reward of a death machine and in black ops 3 you end up getting perkaholic as well so it's a pretty good reward but this easter egg is extremely easy and it's a lot of fun so i'd highly recommend that if you guys ever get the chance to do this one i would do it it's a lot of fun so anyways guys that is going to be the top five easiest easter eggs in call of duty zombies i hope you guys did enjoy this list and i hope that if you commented on last week's episode your comment was included within the video don't forget to submit your clips for next week's episode guys and just so you know there might be a break when call of duty world war 2 comes out because i'm going to be uploading guides because it's going to be the day after it actually releases so just keep that in mind but make sure you guys submit your clips i may even take a break for the next week or the week after just keep that in mind but make sure you guys send in your clips that is extremely important i cannot stress that enough tweet them at me or submit them via the form that i'm going to have linked at the top of the description i'm also doing a world war ii giveaway if you want to enter that it's going to be linked there as well so i hope you guys have an amazing day and i'll see you in the next video peace out